you are cooking with Sheila and Terrell Ray, the official mayor of Kansas City, also the Kansas City People's Choice Awards creator. I love it. In the gates to Goody's Kitchen. So what are we going to show people how to make today? Uh, it looks like a delicious omelet. Uh, we have some spices, we have onions, we have green peppers, chicken. Hopefully it turns out right. Yeah, I've never made an omelet before. Terrell's never made an omelet before, so we're going to see how this works, y'all. So, so this is a little bit of heavy cream. Oh, okay. So, And the only reason I added that is because I've seen people add just a little bit of milk or gotcha. half and half or heavy cream, and they say it makes it a little fluffier, so the egg okay. isn't, isn't as flat. So I got four eggs, y'all. We're going to crack those and get those whipped. And while the uh, skillet is getting hot, I put just a little bit of uh, olive oil at the bottom of the skillet, not too much. And we're just going to get this cracking. So there's egg number one. Egg number two. Egg number three. I know people are like, yeah. I'm not a big egg eater, so that's probably too wide on really. Eggs are delicious. You know Makes what? Makes you feel full. They, they do make you feel full. And so we're just going to kind of mix this, y'all. Let's see, we're just mixing those eggs. Scramble it. <laughs> yes, we're going to add just a little bit of heavy cream to that. I really don't know what's in it. I don't think it's cream. It's <laughs> what do you think it is? I don't know. <laughs> you, you be my guest. Here. See? Get that all mixed up really well. So, is this how you would do it at home, Terrell? Uh, I mean... Since this is my first time, I would just go to YouTube, honestly. Ah, okay. Yeah, YouTube would tell me how to do it. Okay. I don't know about having cow's milk and, <laughs> you know, infamy or whatever. It whatever is. that is, <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to put a few spices in here. This is a little spice mix I made up. has a little... Uh, oh, so you created that. I created that, oh, okay. yeah. Get you. We want to give it some flavor. That gangsta's goody spice. There you go. It's coming soon, too. Okay. Yes. She knows what she's doing. She just don't know how to make omelet. Yes. So now I'm just going to pour this in here. So we pour that first before adding the rest of it. Yes, I oh, think okay. so. That's how. Have you ever been to like a like Harris or stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. And when you see them do that, they put the egg in there like that. Then they add their little ingredients okay. in. Okay. So we're gonna add a little spinach, y'all. They'll keep your insides clean. You know, absolutely. Real thoroughly, a little chopped green and red bell pepper. I don't know what that does. It just looks good. It does. It makes it real colorful. Plus, it's a way for us to get veggies in. Definitely. You know? Healthy. And so, a little few Greens. onions. Of course, they stink. Yeah. <laughs> and a few mushrooms. I would never put mushrooms in my omelet. Ever. Really? Never. Do you like mushrooms? No. No, okay, I'll eat the mushrooms out. I mean, I eat them, it's just... Okay, you know, not your you thing. Yeah, not your thing. Got like, it. I just feel like, like on a pizza, you know. Yeah, no, okay. And this is... I grilled on Sunday, and I had some chicken breast left. And so I just chopped this chicken breast up. And it's a good way to use what you have left over, ladies. Don't throw no food away, okay? And then... We do not throw away food. We do not throw away no food. So we're going to put a little chicken there. Don't be like Chipotle, put some chicken in there. I did. <laughs> this is selfish. She got a whole bowl of chicken and she put three droppings in there. So we're going to let you guys see what that looks like as this cook before we turn it over. Uh, and then uh, we'll be right back, y'all. And you'll learn more about Terrell Ray and Kansas City People's Choice Awards. We'll be right back. Here we have the omelet cooking, y'all. You see the spinach, the vegetables, and the chicken. There we go. Okay, y'all, here is my first omelet. Don't be laughing at me, y'all. Look at that. It may not be all that pretty, but I bet you it's pretty fire. Y'all tap in and give me some tips on how to make a good omelet. Okay, y'all, we are back. And I got to tell you, we had a little trouble with this omelet. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out just right to me. It turned out, but I had to remake it, y'all, because it, it, it didn't look too hot. I think you probably just didn't let it cook long enough. long enough. Okay, that could be it. That could be it. So why don't we taste and you and now Terrell tell if it don't taste good, tell everybody. Say hey, tell you the truth. I think next time you probably need to add some of this, some of that. Or just don't make another one. 
know, either way. Either I'm way, tell you the truth. <laughs> stay away from the omelets. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I cut it in half. So we can. I did put just a little bit of cheese on the back end. My butter is like. Let's see. Put some oranges to make the plate look good. Yeah, I'm give you a little fruit. Oh yeah, it's very soft. Mm, that grilled chicken is pretty good in there, ain't it? That's why I taste the chicken work. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's no argosy, you know, but it's it definitely is good, you know. It's, it's good. I can just definitely taste that it. Yeah, it just needed to cook longer. Mm hmm. But other than that, yeah, you can taste all the vegetables. Okay. You taste the onions, the chicken is good. Okay. Yeah, you taste that job. fresh thyme on top mm -hmm. that I grew in my own garden, in the gangster gut in the gangster goodies garden. That's not bad. Not bad? Okay. So if you had to give me like, you know, five out of five forks, how many forks would I get? I give you about a one and a half. You give me a one and a half? Oh my god. You know, Jeff and up here can't see. <laughs> now, I, I, I would probably give you about four. You give me a four. I give you a four. Okay, okay. Now, it's what, just, what would I do nasty. different? What would you do different the next time? So if I, I decide think to make else this was again, good. okay. Just longer cooking, so that way it, it's in that omelet and it's not falling falling apart. Got it. Out of the omelet. Got it. But other than that, I mean, it's delicious. It okay. tastes good. Good. Man, so that homemade job. spice I whipped up, spice perfect on it. Yeah. Okay. Gave it some flavor. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. You see, this time I left the uh, mushrooms out. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> see, that's why I'm able to just eat it without spitting it out. Yes. Yes. No mushrooms. See? Get that omelet. Yeah. That would be all up in there. Okay. And the omelet, you cook it a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. You break it off. You're like, oh, okay. Look at me getting some cooking tips from the Kansas City's mayor, Terrell. <laughs> I can see. You know, see, I can see what I'm talking about. It won't break up. It'll be in that omelet. It'll be inside of there. Okay. But it's good. Good. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you approved. So, you all, we wanted to stop. We wanted to invite Terrell into the studio uh, so that he could tell us more about the Kansas City People's Choice Awards. So, you're Kansas City born and raised. Kansas City born and raised. Okay. In the worst area in Kansas City, the 50s. The 50s. Okay. Yes. And so, what made it the worst area in Kansas City? Just crime. You know, okay. There's not okay. a lot of options, especially growing up in that era. Okay. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of options. And I was on both sides of the 50s, 50 ah. sec, uh, 58th and 52nd. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it wasn't a good time, but if you put your mind to it, you get up out of there. Absolutely. You know, no Absolutely. excuse. Absolutely. So, what inspired you to do the Kansas City People's Choice Awards? I was actually at home uh, watching the BET Awards, mm. and I was just thinking to myself, Kansas City needs an award show. Mm -hmm. Just thinking, you know, not taking it serious, and then literally, I think the next day, somebody tagged me and said, Kansas City needs an award show, and only Terrell Ray can do it. So I was like, well, dang, they got that confidence in me like that. Absolutely. Because, you know, all, anything that I do is quality. Yes. You know, I don't want to do nothing where yes. you'd be like, dang, why'd I come here while I spend my money? Yes. So, yeah, we literally went to work. I called my, my boy up, who was one of my partners, Mark, my, Mark's my barber. Okay. Um, he, he's big in, in the promoting and mm -hmm. nightlife. Called him up and I said, hey, I got an idea. Told him about it. And he said, yeah, let's do it. Nice. So then the award show, well, excuse me, the idea was in June, maybe late June. Okay. And then the first award show was August 18th. So oh, we put together wow. the award show that quick. Look at y'all. So I know who to call when I want to pull something together. <laughs> yeah. Look. Wow. Yeah. And so it is now when I've had friends that say, okay, what is that? Now, without having ever had a conversation with you and really knowing, you know. So on the outside, I'm like, it's kind of like the Hoodie Wars, but for Kansas City. Exactly. Okay. Exactly okay. the blueprint. Okay. Everything that I've put into the 
Kansas City People's Choice Awards. It was a design from the Hoodie Awards. Okay. Uh, because I was able to attend the Hoodie Awards with Joseph Thomas, who won Best Barber that year. Okay. So, you know, and at that time I wasn't ready yes. to, you know, be devoted to giving back to Kansas City or doing stuff like that. Yes. But I always had that thought in my mind. Yes. And I literally just mimicked the same idea, same format everything i love it it right. works and guess who y'all is a uh one of in a finalist. run on, a finalist yeah, finalist yes a podcast gangsta goodies yes yeah. yes that's, that's awesome we are really really excited about that you know to even to make it to the finalists to be able to be recognized Definitely. for my city to recognize us you it's know huge. as worthy enough to be in that cat you know in that category that's huge thank you kansas city Mwah. with the awards you really don't know how many podcasts there are until you see that nominees coming in you see those names coming in because the first round yes. it was open where you could just vote for anybody yes and i'm just like wow kansas city has this many Wow. Podcasts, this many, you know, different categories. Right, right. We are loaded with talent. Wow. You know, so wow. it definitely is a, you know, even even being on the first list of the nominees to make it to the finalists, I feel like anybody should feel, you know, like, wow, Kansas City oh, recognized I me. I do. You know, I, they should feel honored. I do. I want a t-shirt that says, I was, I was nominated as in the podcast division for Kansas City People's Choice Award. You, I mean, well, you should say finalist. Finalists. Well, what if you, what if it's winter? Well, I want to be able to wear all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> if, like, if I had one right now, it would be a finalist. It would be finalist. And then I'll go ahead and print one to manifest one. that. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You know, that's the beauty of it. You know, no one yes. knows. I'm the only person that knows who won. Really? You know, okay. I, won't, I won't tell anybody or share simply because I want to keep the integrity Absolutely. of the award show. Absolutely. Someone may get mad, you never know, I, and turn on you. Exactly. I'm not going to tell them. Exactly. You know, so exactly. <laughs> it's safe with me until the award. They can tell you what they, what they want. No one knows that they right. want until that envelope is read and their name is called. Awesome. Yeah. I know my mother used to say, if you don't want nobody to know anything, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell, tell nobody. Keep, you, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Terrell, Give me a, a fond memory or something, even a tradition that you have now uh, that is related to food. We always ask people that uh, because we believe that this experience is critical to, to our culture, our people. Yeah, and so we always ask people to share a fond foodie memory or something that you, know, uh, that you love that is rooted in food. I would say I'm not a huge Thanksgiving food eater. I'm oh. more sides, you know, candy okay. yams, macaroni. Okay. You know, that's probably where I'll stop at besides desserts. So for Thanksgiving, my stepmom, who she's now passed now, she used to always make me lasagna. Mm. And, you know, people used to be so jealous because that's what I wanted for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I didn't want the turkey, the ham, and everything else. I wanted lasagna. So every Thanksgiving now is different because she's no longer mm -hmm. alive to make mm -hmm. it. But I, I used to look forward to those lasagna. She mm -hmm. looked forward to making it. Like she mm -hmm. already knew, didn't have to say anything, mm -hmm. made me a nice little dish. Mm -hmm. Of course, I shared it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Thanksgivings, unfortunately, aren't the same anymore. I got Absolutely. people trying to make the lasagna, but it's not the same. It's not you the know, same. Lasagna is a hard dish, and she was cold at it. Yeah. And the people that's doing it now, you know, my family is like, stop. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be mean and, you know, don't eat it, but if you're going to make lasagna, make a small thing. Like, don't make a big don't thing. Make a big don't make a big thing. thing. <laughs> like, you know, make a personal pan so I can be like, oh, right, at least I ate a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. That's yeah. uh, that's That's really special. Um, we are going to put up all of the information. Now, I want to ask you too, sponsors. Are you still looking for sponsors and? At this part of the award show, no. Okay. We, we did at the beginning simply, okay. um, this, with it being a second year, this is our first year actually act, asking for sponsors. Oh, for okay. one, the award show is strictly funded by me. So sponsors or not, it's going to go on. Um, and that's a beautiful thing about it. That's why we're still able to stay on schedule with our award show. Mm -hmm. The only thing that would make us postpone it would be, you know, the coronavirus and the mayor saying, hey, if you could push it back. But as of right now, he's approved us for August 2nd. We're good to go. Awesome. Um, you know, and that, that's that's one thing that I actually apply myself on is that I'm able to pay for it. And it's not cheap. Oh, I can it's imagine. But uh, that's a whole award show, y'all. I, 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 I think it's worth it. You know, wow. It, you know, wow. First year, a thousand people in attendance. Wow. Yeah. I saw the pictures last year and I'm thinking, oh my God, 
next year we are gonna be there now little did i know that we would be a finalist exactly. but i'm like we just gonna be there because we want to see yeah see that excellence now yes. in that building even even if you're not a finalist if you're an entrepreneur business owner you know humanitarian doing something in the community just to be in that building with so many like-minded people is amazing in itself and that's yes. the purpose of the awards because no one else was honoring us nobody else you know they had different awards so i'm not going to name their names but mm -hmm. it wasn't about us absolutely so absolutely this is about us for us by us i love it i always say it is up to us to promote us, to, to us tell on. our story. Exactly. Can't nobody tell our story nobody like us. Do it. No, Not at nobody all. Nobody else can put together an award show that recognizes us the way it, our own people can. Absolutely. You know, we, and, it, and it's not a low budget. Trust me, Kansas City, it's not low budget. Everything about this award show, even in, if you read comments, it was beautiful. People loved it. It was amazing. The show was yes. you know, quality. Yes. You will love Brave it reviews. Yeah. And then the whole, the ladies with their, you know, their dresses and gowns, wow. they had made specifically. I'm show. like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the real show. deal. Definitely. Right here in Kansas yeah, right here City. Kansas, they turn into a fashion <laughs> show, so you better come right. <laughs> come ready. <laughs> yes. They turn into awards, so I said, look at me. Right. And that's what we want, though. We, yes. we want it to feel like it's our Grammys. Absolutely. Terrell, thank you so much for doing this for us. No problem. You know, for us, for our community. Where can people get tickets? Uh, Eventbrite. Tickets are available on Eventbrite. Okay. Um, they'll be on the website up into the award show, uh, which is the August 2nd. So okay. they'll probably stop selling this Saturday before. Okay. We actually have a, a full weekend this year. Okay. So Friday we'll be doing a networking event. Saturday we'll be doing a day party. And then Sunday we'll do the award show. Wow. So a full weekend honoring the nominees. That is amazing. Yeah. That means I gotta get three outfits. <laughs> I gotta well, get three. The, well the networking could kind of be a little bit, you know, t shirt yeah. saying who you are mm -hmm. like that. You know, yes. let people know yes. who you are. Okay. The day okay. parties relax, come okay. pretty. Okay. And then the war show. You gotta come Cut you know, out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to the nines as they say. Yes. <laughs> it's, yes. It's, it's gonna be lovely. Uh oh, I better hit the track too, y'all. <laughs> I just rode my bike before I came. So, See? Yeah, trying to get it down, trying to get those last pounds down. Yes, yes. We will put all that information up, the links where people can uh, get their tickets and uh, be there, y'all. Kansas City. One last thing. We have yes. an amazing Black Lives Matters tribute that's going to take place at the award show that you don't want to miss. Wow. We put together a nice video um, that has footage from around the country as well as Kansas City in it. Wow. Yeah. So Amazing. Don't want to miss that. Don't want to miss that. Kansas City People's Choice Award, Terrell Ray, Mayor of Kansas City, thank you so much. No problem at all. And Kansas City, y'all make sure y'all come out and support your own, okay? Uh, it's going to be a, an amazing time. And guess what? You might get to see me start across that stage, y'all. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.